burning. We're having a beautiful shower this morning. Everybody that gets a lot of rain will have me complaining, but myself, I put the bucket system in, and I know my garden is not going to get flooded. This rain will fill into the buckets, and as it leaches down through the buckets and out through the net cups or the wick, will also fill the trough. So I shouldn't have to do anything with the bucket system for probably about three to four days, other than maybe look for a weed coming up and plucking the weeds off. So if you have a bucket system, there's no worry on your garden. You just sit and enjoy the rain. We're getting a little thunder. This was only supposed to be for an hour, and it's already done probably an hour and a half. I love a good green store. coming down pretty good. I don't know if it shows up on the video that, that good, but it's really coming down. We're sitting in the rockers on the front porch and we're still getting wet. Get some lightning every now and then too. Getting cold? I am. Uh, I think it feels good. Oh. And freezing. Yeah, Ruthie was worried about her plants getting I'm... some water. I think they're getting plenty of water. Like I said, you're not going to have to water anything for a couple of days. It's supposed to get hot and sunny this afternoon, so it'll probably be really muggy. The humidity is going to go way up. And why is that? Because of all the water. The sun comes out, starts drying things up, and it brings the humidity up. But your plants need humidity just as much as they need water. This would be great for your uh, Boston ferns when it, the oh, sun yeah. comes out. They oh. love the humidity. Oh, they do? That would be good. And you'll see all your house plants will pick, uh, One more thing, if, if you remember these hanging baskets in the front, we put uh, flowers in the center. There's uh, orange pansies in there. But we also planted um, green beans around the edges so that when they, whole beans, when they start growing they'll cascade down off the side of the buckets. They sprouted. So in a couple of weeks you might see some green beans hanging down. Give it some greenage hanging down from the side of the things. Just an experiment. You guys can watch them grow with us, right Dal? Yeah. Oh, the rain's letting up. Just like it said it was going to. Won't be long you'll start getting sunny this afternoon. much for the fun. Good luck. The good thing you put that roof on. Yes. Man, the chickens are getting water. I told you they would hang in right there. They're also, Rain comes in at an angle a little bit. They're also growing. Yeah, they've grown a lot just a couple of days we put them in. The tomato plants are all getting blossoms on them. They've only been in less than a week. This is Monday, and I think we put them in what? Thursday of last week? It might have been. Might have been. I, was it Thursday? I think so. I think I, I, think I did the um, buckets, the dirt in the buckets Wednesday, and I planted Thursday. Now, some people commented, they thought that Bigfoot, that we know as Bigfoot, was a monkey. <laughs> no, he's not a monkey. And Clay and I watch, like to watch the old Bigfoot stuff. It's just fun stories. That's what I fall asleep to. 
few different stories and it's just fun. A lot of people have been put stories on uh, YouTube. I'll get about halfway through one and I'll fall asleep. Yeah, they're fun to listen to. Some of the stories are fun. Some are... Some are, uh, just outright crazy, and we don't listen to the evil ones. Sometimes there's ones that we just don't listen to. Oh, I listen to them all. No, you but, don't listen to the bad Well, right, when they start talking about something... I listen to the good and the bad. outright... I, I don't like those ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at You can see the clouds? Maybe? Yeah, they're, they're clearing up. They said it was only going to rain from 6 to 7. It's almost 7.30, so... It rained a little longer than it was supposed to. But you know our weathermen, they are right on the money. They know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, since Clay bought the rockers, of course, he didn't sleep good last night, so I'm oh, waking up. I had insomnia last night. I'm waking up. Come outside and have coffee on the porch with me. Well, I watched, I watched two movies, and I think it was like 1.30 in the morning. I finally dozed off, and I was back up by 2.30. So I slept for about an hour, and I got put on some music on the YouTube, and then Rookie got up. <laughs> and I slept like a rock because a spider or something bit me the other day, and I started really swelling. So I took two Benadryl before I went to bed, and took two Benadryl this morning when I woke up. Um, I'm sure it's nothing because usually yeah, I... Yeah, it's probably mosquito bites or something. Yeah, because usually what happens with people with allergies, if you have a really bad reaction, it usually will happen within two hours. But I took some Benadryl, so it's safe for me that that just settles down. It'll be fine. I've had allergies and stuff before, so I'm not concerned. Looks like I'm going to have to mow the lawn again with this room. Oh, yes. Let it grow up a little bit for the bees. Well, I'm going to let it grow up a little bit so I can sweep it up with the sweeper and compost it. Well, if you let your lawn grow really, really high... Give the chickens some of it. As high as it can go, then when you mow it, it feels so good. <laughs> good. Uh, the, nah, quail like the, the quail like the grass, too, clippings. Well, yeah. So I'll give the chickens and the quail some gla grass clippings, and I'll put the rest in the compost right. You usually, too, like to let it grow up to, in the beginning, don't you, to help get it strong roots sometimes? Well, the it, it's on that. Thickens, it thickens your lawn. When I first moved in here, this was nothing but dirt and rocks, the whole thing. There was no grass whatsoever, did, maybe a clump here did, and there. Did, and did, did, did you plant grass seed? Nope. I just kept growing, letting the weeds and stuff grow up in the rocks and the dirt and... Uh, Kept mowing it down, and eventually the grass took over and choked the weeds out. And, except for the dandelions, but I like the looks of the dandelions in the green grass. I don't look like the looks of them when they get old and stocky with the little puff balls on the top. But I do like to see the yellow dandelions in the grass. The bees like them too. Clay and I aren't big on doing too many things that are like total commitment. Maybe when we do these morning ones like this with our coffee, we'll just call it coffee with the popos. Maybe. Yeah. No? We just like to do a video now and then to let you see what we're up to. <laughs> Sometimes see, we're up to no good. Yeah. Well, see, you guys, we don't, we, you guys are right in on our real conversations of the things that Water we Water all over my glasses. Yeah, yeah, it was raining on my stuff over here, so I had to move it. Oh, she's looking at her basket. We made Charlene a basket. Hopefully she'll get in it, our cat. Get the raindrops off my glasses so I can see. We are down to one cat, which... That's Charlene. We put this TV out here. It was in the back room. We were going to put a roadside. So I brought it under here because I knew it was going to rain this morning. So I brought it under the porch. <laughs> Didn't do it any good. The rain still got to me. Right. Well, we're trying to get rid of things as we're... Re we renovating, don't, if we don't so to need speak. them, somebody else might use them. And so, yeah, and so we just put those boxes there. We're dusting for the garbage, but the garbage got too full, so... They'll go in there this morning once I get the... Right, that's, come and empty that's the, the hopper, plan. I'll dump the stuff contents, and I'll put the boxes in the pile out back, the burning pile. I like to burn my extra pieces of wood and cardboard. 
Yeah. That way you don't fill the hot garbage poppers up. One of my older sisters just found I'll call her back later. I just put it on ignore and call her back. My sister, Jo. So I'm going to call her back in a little bit because um, I wanted to talk to her. Her son, grand, great-grandson Israel, um, got his leg burnt by falling in a burning barrel. Fell in a fire. Or, there was no they burning. said he fell in a... Well, I don't know. So anyway, please pray for him. And uh, so my family's, you know, like I said... We're all praying for him. Just a little kid. Yeah, he's a little boy, so just pray for him. His name is Israel, and his daddy's a pastor in Arkansas. So. Well, the rain has stopped, dear. Yes. Oh, look I at did it. enjoy it. Now that you can see the sun peeking through the clouds a little bit. Yeah, my sister Jo is 10 years older than I am. So I'm 57 and she's 67. And I have a sister that's 14 years older than me. And I have, there's seven kids in my family. And then I have a brother that's younger than me. So I'm number six. And they're all older than me, even Ruth. I am not. He's going to get smacked. <laughs> I'm five to six years younger than Clay. I say it like that. I'm, I'm six years younger if I'm going to give him, slap him upside the head. <laughs> oh, look at that. He's clearing laughing. right up over there. Give it about ten minutes and all the clouds will be cleared right out. Coming in quite quick, too. What's that, the sun? Yeah. Let's see. The clouds are moving pretty good. Oh, let's see if I can stand up without falling in the water. <laughs> Oh, it's pretty over there. Look at that. It's going to be a beautiful day. And beautiful. we we didn't have to water our garden. <laughs> See, if you garden, uh, you get excited. If the when it rains. if the once it rains, it it saturates the dirt in the buckets and keeps them keeps it moist for days. So all you have to do is watch the water in the in the troughs, and make sure that they're they're full. And this bucket garden is. <laughs> If you've got other things you like to do, go fishing or golfing or mow lawns or whatever you like to do, this bucket system is perfect for you for, because it's no muss, no fuss. You may, you may put a day in of getting your buckets prepared and your, make sure your troughs are level, but I think I planted the whole garden as far as plants in the buckets. In probably less than an hour and a lot of people are spending two or three days just rototilling and picking rocks before they can even lay on the ground or crouch down to plant their tomatoes and things then you got to worry about something eating them off or eating all the leaves off your plants we don't have to worry about that it's all no muss no fuss you really ought to try it even if you do just one, one small trough with two or three buckets on it for, for the season, you'll so, be impressed. You someone, really will. someone asked how close to the um, spacing to the plants in them. One or two plants, depending on what the plant is, in a bucket, and you can put the buckets right tight together, or you can spread them out. I keep mine probably my buckets. I keep probably about an inch and a half apart. That gives you room for nine buckets. If you wanted to put them tight together, you'd probably get ten on there. But you got to remember your tomatoes need room to spread, so you might even want to take a couple of buckets off and spread them apart so that there's a foot between each bucket. So the tomatoes got a lot of room. But if you're doing something like broccoli or something like that, you might want to have all the buckets tight together, or onions, or Trying to think of peppers. Peppers, you'd want them all close together anyway. So then they just, and if you had two buckets side by side, your peppers would still be printer a foot and a half apart anyways, from bucket to bucket, even if the buckets were touching. So it depends on what you're planting. 
Jolene's having breakfast. But we'll we'll keep doing updates on the bucket system so you can see the growth rate. Uh, like I said, they've only been in like four or five days, if that. And we've already got blossoms on our tomatoes already. And they were only this big when I put them in. You know, the, the tomatoes, I buried them deep. So they were sticking up like this. Now they're up like this already. I mean, it's impressive. You just have to loosen up that soil and don't pack it. The only thing you pack down is the soil in the net cup in the bottom. The rest of the soil, you just shovel it in there and don't pack it down. Just leave it loose. Put your tomato plants or whatever plants you're putting in there and that loose soil in the top of the bucket gives that root system a place to go and you'll be impressed you really will even if you just just try it with um take a bucket and drill holes in the bottom of the bucket but what i would do if you were going to do that is at the bottom of the bucket i'll use this for an example you got a bucket instead of drilling the holes in the bottom so you got total drainage. Yeah. Drill holes in the side, maybe about this far up on the bucket. So you've got that reservoir of water in the bottom. And if you get a rainstorm and it fills the bucket with water, your excess water will come out those little holes in the bottom. But you'll still have a little water in the bottom. If you want to try that, try that with one or two buckets. Um, and you don't even need the, the trough. But you'll see a difference in some of your plants. Keep your soil, you know, mix your soil up in a wheelbarrow or a tub and fill your buckets. But don't, don't pack it down into the bucket. Leave it loose and then plant your plant and give your root system a place to go. And I think you'll enjoy that too. Sky's opening up a little bit more. Yep, you can see the sun peeking through the clouds in the back there. So it won't be long and it'll be hot. <laughs> it'll start getting muggy. So what I do in the morning is I close all the windows. I kind of look at the temperature today. I opened them all in so that the cool air could run entirely through the house, even though we do have air conditioning. But I prefer not to use it unless I have to because I feel better as far as you know, if you have the air conditioning running all the time, you can get, like, almost hot every time you go outside or too cold. We're getting older. I find that Clay and I actually feel best at about 80 degrees. <laughs> uh, I like it about 70 to 75. Right, right. That's true, too. These are my Dracenias. It's all my buddies, my house plant lovers. But, uh, oh, man. Here comes clear weather. It's going to be a nice one. Pray that I stay awake. I took all that Benadryl to get the <laughs> swelling down. A lot of prayer requests this morning, guys. Look at that sky. It's beautiful. Just lovely. Well, now you don't want to see the rough to you. <laughs> There's my bow. There's a thing that at night shows up light. <laughs> and Charlene's having her breakfast. I know, I didn't realize it was there. I'm going to have to keep it there now because the sun, I have to dry it out. Uh, she'll eat it and so will you. Yeah. I'll be softer on her teeth. Today it's a little bit different for her. She's so spoiled. I hope she goes in her bed. But we still have cats. Nope, but she's the only one inside. Um, there's a cat around here that looks just like her too. And boy, did my dog have a cow. I thought it was Charlene, but I knew that she was in the house, so I knew it wasn't her, but he or she likes to hang around right over there. That other cat's always over there, and then the orange cat is in the back, and then there's like a few gray and gray and whites. So There'll be a lot more this summer because people keep dumping cats over at the restaurant. Well, they've got the restaurant just down the road there, and they had that... Um, big dumpster that they throw all the excess food in and all the neighborhood strays go there and eat. It's their, it's their private, it's their, their hangout. Private. It's their private <laughs> restaurant. Yeah. But we see them, but Charlene, boy, she got really ugly when uh, there's a gray and white cat that comes over. Is he over there now? 
I, you were pointing. I don't see him. I thought maybe you saw him. He no. was, boy, did my dog have a fat. She was right over there. Like I said, I thought it was Charlene. But I kind of wonder if that one's gray and white, too. It's pretty. But Charlene just won't have it. She will not have someone in the yard, which is a good cat. Remind me to put more bait in that uh, bee box, too, you think? Oh, yeah, we got to do that. And then tomorrow, a couple days from now, whatever this week, I should say it this week. This week we have to go to the doctor for Clay too. So tomorrow, I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, he's got. We're not sure what day. He's got. Uh, we got to look. Could be Thursday. He's got to go to the foot doctor, right? Yeah. So he goes to the foot doctor. We had a little fuss about that one. Clay didn't want to go. <laughs> I I. I said, I'm not equipped to take care of uh, diabetic feet because I want them checked. Well, my toenails grow so fast that a lot of people they, go get, to... they get so long that they make my toes hurt. So, And you can only go to the foot doctor every two months. So Yeah, so we, so we bring them to the foot doctor. And I know it's gross, but a lot of people have asked me about this before. And I actually had the video up and I took it down. I put another one up. I, I just... If I, you're a diabetic, it's good to go because... You get tingling in your feet, or you get your feet will, you'll stop getting feeling in them. I don't have that problem. All I have a problem with is my toenails grow so fast, and Ruthie refuses to clip them. Because I, because Clay wants them too short, and I get nervous. But... Well, I just need them cut down because if they get too long, they put pressure on my toes. It makes it hard for me to walk. But I always laugh because my dad used to call it jungle rot. Ah, no, it's not. No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. But people have asked, because I was in the beauty industry and things like that, like, um, somebody told me that they say, how do you get rid of nail fungus on your feet? And I guess they, it was somebody I knew, they went to the doctors and there's, um, they said, well, if you use this cream, it'll take six months. If you use Listerine, it'll take like a week. So some people just put a, a uh, on a Q-tip, they put... Listerine on their toes, and I know it's like I said, it's a little gross, but a lot of people don't know that. And I put a it's video because it's alcohol. I put a video up about that a long time ago. I took it down and then I remade it, but it, the first one got like hundred thousand views or something. The alcohol kills the fungus. And so at that time, I was, I was, uh, I don't know, I was going through videos and stuff. But anyway, but that's just a little tip for you guys. You need a shave too. Yeah, he, he, you need to shave, but you're retired, so we won't tell anybody. <laughs> but, well, but at least trim it up. I mean, so I do try to tell you guys. Long on my neck and everything again. I do try to tell you guys tips because I mean, like I said, there's little things like that that everything you ever wanted to know that we're afraid to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, when you get older, it's, you just tell people things to help them, you know. So, but that's something. But anyway little bit of a gross feet talk but <laughs> anyway look at the sky oh my love it look what a blessing this is so beautiful I've got these flip-flops on I don't like to wear flip-flops outside anymore I like to wear sneakers but it's so pretty although I, nice, oh yeah though I say that every year then I end up wearing flip-flops anyway but my mother taught us always wear shoes because it's safer. Look at this beautiful. The sky is changing now. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to let you go. I'm going to call my sister quick. And uh, remember, big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. Bye-bye and join us again.